My name is Juliana Nathaniel. I want to appreciate God because God is real in this place. You know, I had a problem, you know, with uh, my colleague in the office, and he promised that he was going to deal with me. And I thought that it was just a joke. But by the time I knew it, I lost everything that I had. Everything that I have worked to acquire over the years, I lost. And then eventually, you know, my cousin that stays with me died. You know, the following day, I lost my job. And uh, in fact, it was bad for us as a family because nobody was working as at the time, you know, I'm talking about. Everything was bad. And I went around, actually. I fasted. I prayed. And uh, in fact, I did everything humanly possible, you know, to ensure that the problem, you know, got solved. But, I mean, it persisted until my brother came from Bauchi. He was coming to this church. And I told him I was going to come with him. And then we came in, and then eventually I saw the man of God. And then he prayed for me, and then he told me that the problems are over. And then I believed him because I have seen what God has been doing, you know, through the television and so on and so forth. And I went back. A week after that, I got a new job, and then things turned around. My, sorry, let me, my junior sister, yeah, okay. Then my junior sister who came with me, you know, came with her two kids. They had a lot of problems. The man of, she's been looking for a visa to join the husband abroad. And then eventually, you know, the visa came through, and then she traveled with her, her two children. And then last week, no, yesterday, my mom also was able to get her own visa, and she traveled out of the country. So things have turned around. The witch in our compound, in our family that has been troubling everybody, eventually died. And things are working out well. I just all this happened after you've come in contact with Champions Royal Assembly. Yes. Can you celebrate Jesus for her? Celebrate Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Go and add in the room, baby. Who put in a key? Who put in a key? Don't you have another man? In a room, baby, you can better add it. Yes. I ask you, can you tell me? Chineke, onyu kuku abu. Chineke, chineke, no onyu kuku abu. That if it's so woe, a full so woe, oh, quala. Where will your mother Nigeria mean? Joe worry, no, three years. Lagos, three years. Yeah, eight years. I can make the whole now when I talk about Coca-Cola. And I'm really well now, a day, pillow, Jen. Oh, my, come there, Bessie. Can you say a Mokalanka? Ever then I said, no. No, 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 so, when you need more wagalai, I know, I know, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Praise the Lord. Mama here said for over 30 years, over 30 years, she has had this strange cough in her life. She has been trying, she has gone to so many places, she has been to churches, she has been to so many medical centers. In fact, her children wanted to fly her abroad. And to no avail until she located Champions Royal Assembly. That is over how many months now that she has not been able to, the cough has just totally dried and gone. Can you shout Jesus? Jesus? Now, she said she booked for deliverance and the man of God touched her after praying for her. That was the end of the course. That was the end of the cough. Can somebody shout Jesus? I am a champion. I am a champion. I am glad to say I am a champion. I am happy to say I am a champion. I feel like dancing. I feel like crying. I don't know what to do. The Lord has visited my family. Praise the Lord. My name is Nkechini Ereugu. I am the candidate for Ida to South Imo House of Assembly. And by God's grace, I'm standing here to declare that I will be the member representing Ida to South in Imo House of Assembly come 2015. I am supposed to make this testimony short. I don't know how to make it short, but I will try. I had always wanted to go into politics, but my family had always discouraged me. It's not a place for Christians. Until Papa kept saying, you people need to join you people need to join and make a difference. I went home and told my mother. Daddy said I should join you. And I joined. I started praying. I started praying. The odds were against me. Do you have 100 million? Do you know people? I said I have God. And they were laughing. They did not know the God of champions. Finally, I came and saw Papa. And he was settled. When I came... As soon as I knelt before him, he said, you will emerge. And when I left, to be honest with you, I was asking my sister, how am I going to do this? My sister said, well, just take it that you will emerge. And I thank God for the prayers of champions and everybody else. Because if I was looking at what I saw, I would have withdrawn. Even at the last week before the primary, they zoned me completely out of the election. And the last week of that primary, all my supporters started fighting with each other because other candidates were pumping them with so much money that I could not afford. I went back to prayers. I said, well, Papa, God told Papa that I will emerge. And he is not a man that he would lie. I don't know how I'm going to emerge. Whether my name is on the ballot or not, they are going to write my name. I went ahead and purchased my ticket, purchased everything, and was getting ready for the election. Thank God for the people God used to help me. Some people started turning around. Even at the last minute, an uncle called me and said, what did you need? 
I told him I need so so amount of money. He said, send your account number. And he sent me exactly the amount of money I said I needed. <laughs> Praise the God of champions. And on that election, I still did not know what was happening because money bags were carrying money around. And I was like, okay, God, we will see now. The God that I call all the time. And they went in and they started voting. I could not even go in there. And they started voting. When they started counting, I started hearing my name. My brother was like, it looks like you're winning, you know. I was like, okay, I should win it. I started puffing. I'm a champion. I should win it. I am a champion. I should win it. God says I will win it. And lo and behold, he was not winning it. The shock was not winning it. It's the margin of victory. It's the margin of victory. There were 42 delegates. 29 voted for me. As a matter of fact, when we went to submit the results in the Secretariat at Owele, we gave the people from Abuja the result. They said, who wrote this result? The guy came over, the INEC guy and the other guy came over. We wrote the result. He said, did people vote? They said, yeah. And somebody got 29. I said, the God of champions. Finally, they said it was what I'm wearing in my hand. They said they have to catch me and remove the band I'm wearing in my hand. But they will not catch me, oh. It is not over yet. I thank Papa. I thank Mom. I thank the God of champions. They are still saying they should have voted for a man who can fight, who has resources. I am telling you again, my God is who my hope is on. And my God will deliver me. And I know that I'm going into the Imo House of Assembly to make a difference, to show them that a Christian in power is better for the all Nigeria. Praise the living God! <laughs> Just one declaration from the man of God. Go, you will emerge. She came into that and she stood on that ground. Against all odds, she emerged winner. Can you celebrate Jesus for the God of champions? Celebrate Jesus! Champion, praise the Lord. Champion, say fire. fire. My name is uh, uh, Brother David Samuel. I reside here in Abuja. I'm here to testify of God's healing power upon my life. I was diabetic since 2010, and I had my healing three months ago. After my deliverance, I minister the miracle water. The miracle water is specific for, specific for healing. The one that uh, Papa said, before you minister it, you read some too, which I did. I just discovered that my blood sugar level that used to be 200 to, to and, and above, 200 and above, now went down to 109 to 110, and it's constant. I want to thank God because I can... If you, if you want to put those hands for Jesus, jam them very hard. I want to thank God because I'm able, I, I can live my normal life. I'm able to take things like sugar, carbohydrate, without having any, any challenge. I want to tell you this is what I use in checking my blood sugar level. I do that every three days. We call it acute check. Some of you are familiar with this device. So I do that. And, and I want to thank God because I, my healing is permanent and I, it is done in Jesus' name. Celebrate Jesus. Diabetes disappeared. Hallelujah. Champion, praise the Lord. 
Champions, praise the Lord. My own case, now different case. So I'll be person for my family where to be say everybody they look me like say I know and I don't my own don't finish. Because they, they see me anytime they see me, they so smoke smoke of Igbo, neither they see. For over 15 years now. If I drink water, I they get urge to smoke Igbo. If I eat food, I they get urge to smoke Igbo. Anything when I just do. I, even if I did they discuss with very important something like this, I go they think, oh boy, wait till you sit down and they discuss here now. Go look for where you go smoke Igbo. And as soon as I come up from there, now Igbo I they go smoke. And as soon as I smoke, I know they be myself. I know they think straight. I did I they look like a mad person. But thank God, last month on the twenty fourth, Papa laid his hand on me. And I tried myself that I should go back because I'm from Benue. My name is Emmanuel Lady. I'm from Benue State. I went back to Benue State after the deliverance. Each time I hear the smell of Igbo, the stomach taunts me. That is not all, though. In my family, nobody calls me. I'm the one that calls them. Oh. I will call and say, bros, how on a day? You know, they even ask of me. They say, you are Igbo, don't condemn. <laughs> Mother, where born me? I'm from the family of six. I am the last born in my father's house, and I'm the first son in my mother's house. This thing makes everybody hate me. My mom doesn't tell anything of me. It, she, she, if, each time she wants to present the, the first son, she calls my younger brother. She doesn't speak anything good of me. But ever since this deliverance, I can be anywhere I am. My mom even calls me. Yet I was surprised the day before yesterday. She called me that they are going to call me from her office and they are going to ask me one. First in history, second in geography. Are you just looking like that? Are you just looking like that? Jesus! So... I just come back here to say, Papa, thank you. And God will increase more of you in your anointing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God. Champion, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Uzamaka Izwekwe. I located the champion 23 of last month. So I came with my husband. Before we came here, it, it's a war. Because we married uh, uh, December 4th, make it 10 years. And to no fruits of the womb. We have went to many places. Different hospitals can. They will say infection, this and that, we treat, nothing happen. Different churches. So when I, I we start watching Champion in House, I would tell my husband, let's go to this place. Say she will not go again. That woman is oh, already visiting many churches and nothing happened. She will not go. So one day now I said that we will come. That day she came back from, from market on Saturday night. After I eat finish, I say, How far about that place? He said she's not going anywhere. She will not go. That she will not give. I want to go. Say I should go alone. I should go. She will just give me address. I will call the, the number. They will direct me. I say you will go. We will go together. That place. We must go. So we are not starting quarter. You know, woman character. I asked that night. I went outside. I called his, his senior, his senior sister. See, see, see. The woman called him on phone. I said, no, go now. If anything is the, the matter, let God deliver us. So we'll be like uh, others. Thank God we come. As we come that day. After service, we go home. This is on Saturday, the next week, she came and, and registered for the deliverance. So we come from the, for deliverance. We are sitting here. After the great man of God come, he was preaching about a, a, an electronics. You understand? And there was an electronics in our house. The electronics spoiled. So we called the mechanic. He said, we'll pay 2000 There is no money to pay. we we'll leave it. And after the service, when we go home, we now plug it. The thing started working. Another one, after my deliverance, oh, there is God here. There is that great God is here. He's in the champion. So after, after my, 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 my deliverance on Sunday, 
We go home. My husband, after we pray in the night, he tackle water. So he said, I should open my mouth. I open my mouth. He pressed it two times. So after we sleep, my, my stomach just, the thing started. I started, um, I opened toilet. I said, you need so, something white. It's white, just buckets. It's white like a, a, a garden egg. I just, it was coming out like a water. After that, when you come out on so that someday, this on Monday, we wake up in the morning for the, for the deliverance. I say, God, I know what if I come here and I will just be running for toilets. Let this thing stop. If we finish, come back. Let it start again. And to God, he had that voice. God, he had it. After I used this miracle water, I anointed it in my belly. So when we, when we come here, the thing did not disturb me. But after we reached house, the thing started. I continued. I continued. After everything, we the night again. I, I use this uh, miracle water. I, I use it again in the morning. In the morning, I wake up. I just come out, outside to, to brush my teeth. Blood is coming out from my mouth. I just bring my phone and snap the, the blood. Look at the blood here. So look at the blood here. Just the blood is coming out from my, from my mouth. Through this blood that's coming out, because it was long, this thing is my body. I know, I, be, I, be, I believe God of this champion, that my miracle, my children, my breakthrough is here. And so last week, I already collected my, my children there. Very soon, I will come for my big belly will come here to testify again. Can Champion Soya Assembly is the last bus stop. You will come back and testify, the mega one. God bless you. Champions, praise the Lord. My name is Adam Kimu from Adam Ostit. I had a problem with my right hand. When I go to church, when praises are going on, if I'm clapping my hands, my hand will be stiff. If I sleep on bed, my hand will be stiff. So on Sunday, when Papa was testifying to someone, Saying there's a man here with crutches to lift up your crutches and begin to walk. I felt a sensation down within my body. I begin to cry. I couldn't control my, my myself. I was shouting over myself. So from there, my hand stopped disturbing me. I no more sleep and feel the hand being something like paralysis on it. So I thank God for it. I thank God for using the man of God to deliver me. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto us. My name is Mary Akuba. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life for all his kindness and protection. Since I located this ministry, God has been faithful to me and my family. And I thank God for delivering me from the motor accident. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God? Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Charles. Uh, I just want to thank God for this uh, commission. Uh, he's been working for me, and it will continue to work for me. And it will also work for you. During the anniversary, I, I went there with my chair book. And Papa said we should sow. So after I signed the check, I was contemplating in my spirit, what do I, which figure do I put? And uh, though I had a figure in my mind, but I said I should hear again. So suddenly, I had step it up. So I step it up. I 
cut off the check and I dropped it at the altar. And Papa laid his hand on me and I went. On Monday, I was at work. Nothing happened. And on Tuesday, I went to the bank to do some transaction. So I was before the reception or, uh, or at the bank and suddenly I had an alert. A text message came to my phone and I checked. It was, um, the check has gone for clearing and I spoke in tongues. So the girl just like, ah. So I just maintained. I was speaking with her and another boost came to my phone again. I checked Ma Oma. <laughs> I checked. It was like times four of what I dropped on the seat that day. Not just that. That was on Tuesday. On Wednesday, rain fell. Thursday, it fell. <laughs> Friday, it fell. If not that, Saturday was not a working day. Champion, shout fire. fire! By his grace, my name is uh, Ogugwo Innocent Obiako. I am very happy to stand before you this morning to testify the goodness of the Lord unto my life. I came to this church very wretched, nobody, very sick, but today I am happy and healthy. Firstly, I, it was my visit to City of Wonders. When Papa was ringing, in our ears that we should go there, I was that kind of person that don't take things serious. But one day I asked my friend to lead me to that place. I went there. When I came back, two serious sickness left my body. One was, the, the, one, one, the first one was, I used the toilet six times every day for more than 15 years. For more than how many years? 15 years. You used the toilet about six times every day. For more than 15 years. When I came back from there, it ceased. I didn't even remember it. And so one day I said, ah, what, am, what, what am I doing? I did not go to toilet today. And I remember it was a city of wonder. An affliction of 15 years that is very obvious just disappeared. Secondly was chronic waist pain. All left at once. Then, the second was, uh, I was having this war every night. I do see more than 500 people fighting me. More than 500. Until the day I decided to book for deliverance. That Saturday I came here and booked for deliverance. They asked me what's the problem. I said spiritual battle. Then when I left, at the night of that Saturday, I dreamt where the whole people were packing their load into a warehouse. And a voice said that they were bombed. Now once they, pack, they finish packing their load into that warehouse, they were bombed. So the next day, I came for deliverance, being Monday. After that deliverance, I see them no more. I see none of them again. The third was my work. I know what I'm doing, but I don't see what to do. You river like? I eat like an ant. I, will, I do rejected works until I met with Papa. He said, it's well. I was expecting to pray and prophesy, but he says it's well, and it is well. Today, I do first class works. I reject works, and I'm doing well. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Praise the Lord, champion. I'm 
I'm called Mr. and Mrs. Injoko Philip, all the way from Cameroon. So during the the fruit of the of, of the womb during the a July period, we, uh, we just stood at home, stood at home that period, we were washing at we were washing at the screen with all the feet, with all the feet, with all the feet. When Papa said, "This is the mourn of your baby, so carry your baby." But at first, at first on the month on feet of April, who got married, so so she was pregnant, but she had a miscarriage. But 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 now I was thinking how how because as a young medical practitioner, it was so hard bothering of me. So I asked myself, no, this is not this is not normal. Again, we should pray with the champion. Now, but when we pray with the champion, as, uh, as I was declaring, this is a mourn of your baby, so to carry up your baby, and we lay our hand on the screen with all the faith, all the power, and all the adoration to the God. By God's grace, the next month, she missed her period. And for now, today, she is four months pregnant, which I came all the way to give all the glory to the champion, to the God of champion. So I give all the thanks to Brother Joshua Iglina, for all the fruit of the womb, to give all the thanks to him. Thank you. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and celebrate him. He's awesome. I want to thank God for keeping me alive today. God said he will bless the work of your hands. And I'm also struggling. The other people, they were also struggling to use my own head to get their own money. On Tuesday, I left Biaji to get Perku under the bridge, federal housing. When I got there, they said we should enter Pente Taxi. So I was, who say, who say, I couldn't get anyone. So one painted taxi stopped. A boy said, sister, you're looking for Wuse. Look at Wuse there. I ran and I entered the vehicle. All I remembered was I asked the man, are you going to Wuse? He said, yes. I said, can I put my things inside the boot? He said, no, that the boot is filled. So I remember they said, if it's 419, you'll be discussing inside the motor about money. But when I entered inside the taxi, I couldn't remember anything. The next thing was I saw myself inside the bush. And I was checking with them, very free. So when I got there, I used to anoint myself every morning, but I forgot that day. So my hand was scratching me. That was only what I could remember. I raised my hand up. I saw this bangle. And Papa was facing me. That was when I remember, what are you doing here? Is it the we say you're going to? Something says, start running. And I look at no house, nothing, only the bush and a bacha. I say, where will I start? So the woman that was inside the taxi, she now opened the bacha to enter. I saw a man sitting down with a calabash and all this native stuff. That was how I turned my back and I started running. The woman said, she's running, no. He now got up with a cutlass and short broom and start pursuing me. It was 15 minutes before I got to the main road. When I reached the main road, I just lie down on the ground. I was saying thank you because all my things have thrown it there. I said, what will I say? I'm in Abuja alone with mommy that is taking care of me. Where will she even start from? They will say she used her for money. I just said, thank God. When I was there, a Gwari boy now came with my back. I said, sister, I don't know the God you're serving, no. but if you had entered inside that room, that is all about you. Just take your back and go. This is one hour. From here is one hour before you reach Karimu. I know it's going to be very difficult for you to get another taxi, but just stand. The God that took you from phase four down to this place and did not allow you to enter inside this bacha, the God will still help you to see vehicle and leave this place. Before I should leave, we say, 
I spent almost 1,000 to reach Wuxia to tell you how far the place was. I just thank God of champion. I'm proud to be a champion. Praise the Lord. Can you go ahead and celebrate Jesus? Not your blood, not your head. That's what daddy will always say. The anointing service that is going on here is not for decoration. It's for preservation on the days of evil. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. What a testimony she has there. Mine is on this book. I bought this book. My name is Eska Juliet Godson. I bought this book on Sunday during the anniversary. When I got home, I just dropped it inside my bag. When I looked at it, I saw it was for 2015. I said, okay, this book is not for now. It's for 2015. So I left it inside my bag. On Monday, I did not remember. On Tuesday, I did not remember. Until 5 o'clock in the evening, 5 o'clock in the evening, a voice spoke to me. He said, that book is for 2015, but for you to have seen it, to, for you to have bought it, it means you have entered your 2015 already. Then I keyed into it, then I took the book. I just opened the introduction. Going through the introduction was just something else. I couldn't stand it. My kids were all around, they were disturbing me. Then I got to a place where Papa said, you need to stay in a quiet place, you need a book, you need a pen. So I carried the book and went to my study. In the study, the fan there is a dead fan, already dead. And before the fan died, the head was stationed in one place. <laughs> the head was stationed in one place. So before it died finally, we were using it like that, just on one direction. If we are here, we will have to turn it to this direction. So by that Friday evening, around past 8, I carried the book, I got to the study. I said, this is a discouragement. I need a quiet place to read this book. So that in 21 days, I would have gotten my habit. Then the uncommon happenings would have started. So I lifted up the book and I said, Lord, this is Rema. Rema means your word coming alive. Your word makes alive. Your word that brings dead thing to life. I said I don't want the logos. The logos is the written word. As for me, I have come to take the Rema word. So I declared, let everything around me come alive. I was not discouraged. I picked the book and I dropped on the study. Before I could turn my back, the fan that I plugged when I entered the study, that was not working. The fan started working. I carried the book, I was jumping. Hey, hey, like Papa used to do. I was just shouting, thank you, Jesus. I couldn't sleep. I would go to this, I was just confused. I said, this dead fan, I called my husband. I said, honey, do you know what just happened? He said, what? I said, the dead fan in your study is working. He said, what happened? I said, Rema has brought it back to life. But the head was still stationed in one place. It was walking with his head down. I said, God that has started something, we perfect it. So I went to sleep. In my sleep, I was rejoicing. I was thanking God. I was saying, God, Rema, 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 Rema all around me. Life all around me. Every day situation, let it turn to life. By the time I woke up in the morning, the fan was rotating. It was rotating. Are you just sitting like that? I, I, I don't know if you have not gotten your 2015 everyday Rema. I don't know what 2015 will look like, but the truth of the matter is that with this in our hand, with this in our hand, the speed at which we will travel in 2015, I really don't know. But God will be there to guide us. 
celebrate Jesus. I tend to say thank you, Jesus. My 2015 has started already. Champions, praise the Lord. My name is Ashego Ogons. I want to thank the God of this commission for giving me the grace to graduate from the university. And I give God praise. It started rough, but I give God praise. I'm a graduate today. So I thank God for what he's doing in my life, what he will do, and what he has done. Amen. Thank you. Celebrate Jesus. He is representing all the people that graduated this week. There are two numerals. We just beg him to stand for them. Celebrate Jesus. Praise the Lord. Champions, praise Jesus. Beloved, I don't even know where to start from. Uh, my name is um, Sister Utuk. I started coming to this church in May when I watched it on TV. Um, on one of the occasions when I was watching, God actually ministered to me that my deliverance is attached to this ministry. Then I was still contemplating, when do I go? When will I go? Which service do I attend? And so until I heard it clearly, so I made a move. Before then, I faced several challenges. Um, what one of it was, I was actually trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And um, it was as if the forces that be had decreed or declared as in, it can never be. I tried everything. I, I visited one of the best hospitals in Abuja. There's a point you get to that you will know that money cannot help. As in, you know it's clearly that you need an external force to act on your behalf. That was the point I get to, or I got to, rather. There was nothing I didn't get, as in, from medical reports. They told me this about my ovaries. You can imagine you've been a young girl, and you know there's nothing wrong with you. But the medical report you get is, these ovaries can't ovulate. So what does that mean? So just zero your mind. And I kept believing God, having faith hand, that I know God will always do it. I kept canceling whatever report I got at different occasions. The first time I came, I came here, I gave a testimony how God healed me um, with the miracle water. I had um, sight issues. God healed me, I, I, my sight was restored. And that day I declared that before the end of the year, that everything I've decided, I'm praying for, I'm asking God for, I'm coming back again to this altar to, to testify. So I give God the praise that I've made it possible. It is not by power, nor by might, but it is only by the Lord that showed mercy. What happened was, 5th of October, my husband came here with me. I've attended um, the various fruit of the womb service from May, um, the one we asked to come with apples, and uh, even I was among the few women. Papa was always um, asking after administration that they should keep them on the altar to pray for. I kept believing God that God would do something. Anytime I watch the TV, I would tell myself, These uh, other ladies are testifying, my case can never be different. This spell must be scattered, must be broken. Whatever thing it is, monitoring spirit, agent from wherever they came from. Their yoke must be paralyzed over my life. I can never come to this arena of liberty and still be oppressed of the devil. I was so determined. So on the 5th of October, when my husband followed me here, my daughter was playing at the balcony beside Papa's car. When Papa was prophesying, he located her and now asked her, where is your daddy? And that was how Papa ministered to my husband. And I was even telling my husband, and me that have been coming here since May, Papa has not ministered to me. You that just followed me for the second time. And he said he's the head of the family, that his heart desire is all covered. Only for me to travel, I actually went out for an overseas training um, from my workplaces. So when I came back, I discovered I was not feeling very comfortable. So I went back again to my gynae, my specialist, to like um, check me. I don't know what's going on. 
So by the time they did a scan, the same doctor that told me before the weekend we came for that Papa allocated my husband, I went again to them to check me again, and they were telling me, Madam, this is your case. When you are ready for an IVF, you let us know. And we cannot even assure you it's 50-50. Even when they told me of the rigor and everything, I was like, God, this has to be natural. So I now went back again. When I came back from my training, that was about over one and a half or two months after that declaration by Papa. The same guy me now performed a scan. And they were like, ah, I want to check your ovaries. I want to check your womb. Why are you not feeling well? We've been uh, waiting for you to come so that we can start the process. We told you the last time you came. And they were like, we are seeing a sack in your womb. And at the sack we are seeing, there's a heartbeat. And they were like, madam, you are pregnant. The, the doctor, she's an Indian. She was telling me, you, madam, this thing I want to tell you, you are going to go and testify. If a, a medical doctor, a specialist that your case was like written off, could tell you that you have to go and testify of this miracle, then you know that this is God. I sat on that scan bed and I was in tears because I felt El Shaddai. I felt Jehovah in my womb. I felt Jesus alive in me. I saw that God showed himself. The God of champion, the God that never lie, the hell shall die, the omnipotent, omnipotent, the almighty God, the holy one in battle, he showed up in my case. I want to give all the glory to God that has made it possible for me and my family. And I told God I'm coming back to this altar to kneel down and to lie down, all back to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Praise the Lord. Madam. How long did you wait before this incident? Five years. Are you just sitting like that? Five years barrenness. Five years barrenness. Doctors, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, told that, that this is a closed case. Come, there is God here. And when daddy lay hand on you and say, go, it is free. Believe me, you are free. When daddy say, go, it is there. It is there. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Champion, praise the Lord. My name's is Tina Adejo. I came to this place some years ago. I, I went back to my working place. So what really went uh, wrong was last week, this week on Wednesday, we came for service. After we left, we went to, I slept off. Later on, I woke up. That was exactly, I was not, be, I could not be able to sleep. I was restless. The light was on, everything was on. So later, I started having some pains in my chest. And I jumped up, I said, Jesus. So immediately I woke up, I said, let me go and take my bath. So when I was going outside, there was somebody sleeping in the parlor. So I couldn't on light. I took my rechargeable lamp, and I on the rechargeable lamp. Behold, when I was going to the parlor, I saw a snake in the parlor. And I called on my husband and said, look at snake. I called my neighbor. We ran out. You know, hide somewhere. You couldn't come out together. There was light. Could not come out. He was there. My husband had picked the anointing water. Then he poured on it. And I came outside struggling. They killed the snake. The snake is inside my handset here. Mm. My second testimony goes like this. 2011, I was nominated to go for peacekeeping in Sudan. I am a soldier. So when I was going, precisely September, I was there, something happened. I started bleeding SS. I, I, what is happening? I was thinking it's, maybe it's SS training. So I kept to it. I cried. I left that month. The second month, I saw the same thing. I collected pass and I went to see my medical doctor. He said, he said ah, this thing is, uh, I don't know whether it's fibroid or... Uh, infection. I said, okay. He gave me some drugs. I said, presently I'm on training now. I went back to my training post. After then, I traveled to Sudan. 
When I went to Sudan, I was there the first month, the second month, the thing occurred again. I have to be referred to the, our hospital, that is a Japanese hospital. I went there, they, they diagnosed me, they said they see this, this blood, they saw this, they saw this. I said, okay, they placed me on drugs. I was on drugs. I told my commanding officer, I want to go back to Nigeria. Let me go and treat myself. He said, there's no need for that. You cannot go. So I was there. Later, this thing continued like that. It would come and stop, come and stop. When I came back from operation, that was 2012. I went for native. It wasn't going. And I zero my mind. Say, let me forget about it and hope unto God. Last two weeks when I came for service, I registered for prayer line. Papa prayed for us and I ministered the miracle water. The blood God, started I must testify. I must testify. Then the next day, I ministered it again and it stopped. That was how it stopped today. I didn't see it again. You mean this problem has been with you since 2000 and 2011? It has continued since 2011. Yeah. But just coming for deliverance last two weeks. What happened? He stopped. Are you just sitting like that? Go ahead and celebrate him. Only God can do this. Champion, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Felicia Echerewa. I located this church last year, November, through my son. No children with television. My son was uh, screwing the television, the channel. So he saw uh, this champion. He called me, said, Mommy, Mommy, come. Come and see uh, another church. You say you will go to Lagos. Come and see another Lagos here. I said, get out. Which, which one is uh, another Lagos here? There's not, no one like uh, the one of Lagos. He said, Mommy, you don't know what I'm telling you. So, so what happened? I came, I watched. So after watching the, this thing, I said, I beg, go away. I will go to Lagos first. So later, last year, November, my son started coming. One morning, he woke up. He said, Mommy, I'm going to uh, this church. I will go and locate where this church is. I said, go now, who will give you money? He just, I don't know where he got money. So he came here twice. So what happened after the third one, we now joined him with my other siblings. So when we started coming here, that last year, on the month of um, June, we are at the gallery. So Papa was praying. He said, you are going to see something. God is going to bless you with something in your account. So on the month of uh, September, I was uh, on the 11th, I was sitting down. My mind said, go and check your handset, check your handset. So I screw my handset. I saw something has dropped in my account. I said, ah, where is this thing coming from? I thank God, I keep quiet. I said, let me keep quiet, too. I will not touch it. Maybe they will call me back or to refund it too. So I, 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 I kept it. I didn't touch it. So we started coming here. God located me. Located. Since I started this church, I've not begged for one day to eat. I've not begged for transport. Before I started coming here, before the month we end, before they will pay me salary, I have to go and look for money where I will feed my family and uh, where I will do other things. But since I started coming to this church, till today, I have not begged for one naira to transport my children and myself to this place. And secondly, my first son has graduated, no problem. The, the project went smoothly. When he writes, I will tell him, use the miracle water, sprinkle on it before you go to your project supervisor. When he did that, everything went smoothly. Last week again, my second son has graduated again. I give God the glory. And I used to, at times, sickness, my legs will be paining me. But since we went to the city of uh, Wonders and come back, when we came back that Sunday, my mind was telling me, use this water and the sand to bath for seven days. So since on Monday, I have been using the sand and the water to bathe. 
till today. That I cannot even stand for long. If I stand for long, my waist and my leg here will do as if they want to paralyze. But since yesterday, I have not felt that pain Amen. again. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Champions, praise the Lord. I am Preston Efedwe. I am a naval officer. In April 2013, I returned to Abuja battered, shattered, and in fact, I was discouraged. I was almost at the point of losing my job. I came to see Papa. And he prayed for me. And on my own part, I decided to make a vow that pinches my pocket every month end. I feel it every month end. That is by way of subscribing to Champions TV Partnership. And since then, since I took that step, things have turned around for me. Starting with my nomination for the strategic course at the War College, which you know as the National Defense College. A couple of months back, I was here to testify to the goodness of the God behind this commission in my performance in that course. I think that course has opened way for me in my job. And I want to go back to last year's uh, prophetic, prophetic insight. I met Papa here at the altar, and the first word the altar told me is that he see promotion ahead. I was confused. Here is a man who is having problems in his job. The first prophecy he received is that he sees promotion. I was confused. Anyway, I took it. And uh, since then, I'll be faithful as a partner in Champions TV. Then when the promotion was due, that is this year, I just, I got to know that the board is about sitting and that they will submit their report in the next one week, less than one week. And there was no time for me to come and see Papa during that period. And I say, if I call Papa, I know he's a very busy person, you don't even have time for yourself. You may not have time to pick the call. I decided to send a text that, Papa, this is the situation. Pray for me. Almost immediately, Papa replied. He said, don't worry. It is already settled. And I claimed it. Champions, today, the prophecy of the man of God have come to pass. I have been elevated to a senior rank to the star rank in the armed forces. And I'm here to praise the God of champions and to acknowledge the prophet of God, the servant of God, who is the prophet of accuracy for what he has done in my life and the life of my family. So champions, I'm here to return all glory to God for what he has been doing in my life. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful to the man of God Champions, help me to praise the name of our God. Champions, praise the Lord. Somebody shout fire. Look at what God is doing. Instead of dismissal, that is saying you are going to be promoted. Now he has left, he said he is now in the star rank. I know you know where that star rank is. You can't be a star and give you another general. Celebrate Jesus.
my name is brother james afi by the grace of god i am standing here to share the goodness of god and return all the glory to god and what he has been doing in my life and in the life of my family uh sometime last uh, uh last two three months ago papa called the protocol to pray for them and when he reached my turn he tapped me he said brother i saw promotion coming and immediately he pronounced it that i claim it because i don't joke with the word of the man of god in the house so and as time goes on when we the period come and we attend the board in fact out of 17 of us i knew that uh, you know, i'm mean, even when you i'm a military man even if you are qualified you have all you have attended all your courses but there's something they will do they will follow seniority and in the in seniority i discovered that I, i'm second in the land because of the age of service so uh and because of the word papa said i don't want to have doubt and when the screening comes by the grace of god my name came out and i was promoted are you just sitting like that then that is not all immediately the name came out i went to the store collect the rank i said this is wonderful i brought it to papa I said daddy what you have said it has come to pass please this is it i want you to anoint it before any other hand will touch it amen so then he prayed for it he was happy and i was happy so i don't know you can see the, the decoration my wife by my left hand and my commander by my right there that is the decoration so and i was this office i was eyeing to work in because I'm here in Abuja and it is very difficult because of the departments I belong in the army. It is very difficult for them to move me from that place to that particular place. It's either they take you far, maybe to another division somewhere, but it will not be easy. But me, I don't want to leave Abuja because I am here. I don't want to leave champion. I say, no, this is not the time. This is not the right time. I'm not going anywhere. So I came, I met the daddy. I told him. So he prayed. Even though there was obstacle, there's a lot of obstacles and uh, confusion here and there. But because God is there and he has spoken, in fact, he breaks all protocols. I say because you are here, all protocols will be broken. <laughs> I am telling you, just believe it. So, you may not understand, I'm just summarizing it. So, at the end of the day, when the posting came out, People were surprised. That exactly office I wanted to work with, that is where God took me. For you to believe that it's not easy, God took one of my boys that I worked with him before. Very long time, he was just a young officer, lieutenant, and I was with him then. Then I said, General, God took him somewhere, that particular place. He placed him there. And at this, the man remembered me, he called me, and I came. That to, to tell you what God can do. And I said, because of you, God will break all protocols. And the posting came out exactly. Today I am there. Praise the Lord. Champion shot fire!